All right, it's Ross Raffin, aka Nefarious Shortle, and we're playing Elstar Support because we got autofilled. So we're just playing a casual game here, no big super hard pressure. I'm just looking to have some fun, create some takedowns, you know, exactly what Elstar is for. You just stomp on people and kill them. Like, yeah, just good old fun, you know. Um, it looks like in the jungle we have Ivern versus Orianna. Classic blind pick, dude. Classic blind pick. Just, yeah, absolute monkeys. Sure. Ivern is actually pretty good. Like, no, no, no shit, you can actually reach rank 1 uh, challenger with Ivern. Like, it's been done. It, somebody did it on this, like, on the previous patch. Nothing significantly changed since then, I don't presume. Um, mid lane, alright, brands. That's pretty good. And then top lane, we have a kind of counter matchup. Like, Fiora should win that against Riven on paper, but obviously it's still a skill matchup. Any fighter matchup is a skill matchup, really. Um, well, in the bot lane, I guess we don't, they don't really have a support. We don't have a jungler, they don't have a support. We'll see which one has more impact. Um, depends on, I mean, it is a Kai'Sa. It's not like if we had a Caitlyn and we could, like, like shove level 1, right? Alright. So we are fucked. Yes, we are fucked. Yes, you are super duper fucked. Be sure that you see that we cannot contest this wave. And she just lost half her health bar for absolutely no reason. Then she auto attacks the minions for no reason. She, I don't know. She can't CS for two shits. She got two CS. She could have gotten four at least. Like, like, four at least. <laughs> Just press S. Like, you can press S when it's already being cast. Like, you can move around and then press S when it's being cast. That's a dodge. When you just press S like that and then he throws it, that's not a dodge. You wanna, you know. I, I probably should have gone on that. Fuck. I missed my opportunity. Kaisa is actually trading well. Uh, I didn't expect that. A hey, one auto and she's dead. First blood. Not having a support is worse. Confirmed. I mean, not having an AD carry. You could throw it either way. I guess Brand is the support. Eh. I'm not afraid of the Ivern jungle, especially when he's at the other side of the map. So that ward is kind of silly, but sure. Oh, I almost walked back into it. Set a little bit of mouse control, where if you control that a little bit better, maybe you could do more. Could have gone a little bit harder, but this is alright. Knock them both up. And then kill them both! We got them! We got them! We got them both! Holy shit! That actually worked, like the double knock-up. Uh, oh wait. No, we're not gonna get this. That's enough for a BF Sword on Isle Star. Now, I'm not gonna go full troll mode and actually get a BF Sword. I'm actually gonna play the game. But that is that is a nice buy. That is a nice buy. That's a lot of health, right? Holy moly. She got two, 2,200 gold. She actually started CSing pretty well after she missed a lot of them for no reason. She's waiting for something. I'm not sure what she's waiting for. 
Okay. Stand on the edge. Go walk now. Ah, oh, man. Those mechanics. The shopping mechanics. Never thought I'd comment on that. This is just something most people just pick up on naturally, right? You just start walking and then just buy that last second. Or you stand still at the outer edge of the shop. That's also a possibility. And you can see, because this is gray and then it lights up, you can see what the edge of the shop range is very easily because of that. Alright. Could have gotten a little more gold, but this way I don't overheal by a lot. We're shopping this, I guess. In case that we shove, I can attack the minions. I mean, I'm sorry, it's a little bit bland commentary, I guess, like... Alright. There is our friendly neighbor. Let's see if we can pay him a visit. Let's kill him. Oh, he's in a little bit of trouble. I'm, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm in an opera mood. Everything that I say is just opera. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't need to ignite for that. I don't have to donate the kill either. We can just kill them and get pressure. The kills are not the main issue here. Shit. My bad. My bad. My 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 support mechanics are not clean. Um, she's level five, so it doesn't matter. Oh, oh uh, maybe I shouldn't do that when I'm under turret against a brand. I have no mana. I have no mana. Okay, never mind. Doesn't doesn't matter. She 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 literally one shots him. I have no idea about Kaisa's damages. A new champion. I don't understand. Like I I mean I understand the toolkit. It's just that. I don't understand the damages. So... I mean, it's level 4. It's not like he's gonna tornado and then kill him or something. She can just do that on her own. I can just back. It's no problem. There's no there's no threat there. So uh, I'm just gonna walk back with Moby Boots. Top speed, Mach 3. A little bit of a slow buy. There's a little bit of mechanics. Like, you know, make it matter. Oh, no, that's not good. That's good. That's that's nice. Yes, oil mechanics. I'm not sure if he had E. I'm not sure why he threw out a tornado, because I think with... Wait, she had flash. Never mind. He's just, like... They're both monkeys. If she has flash, then none of that needed to happen. I thought he, she already flashed. That's my bad. I thought, I thought she already used it. She got to the left, like, so fast. I guess that's her movement speed for something. Uh, this this brand is level four. She's squeezing auto attacks. All right, just scare him off. Let's see, Kaisa's ultimate. Close game, guys. Yeah, the secret to a good LSR player is that you have the very clean, crisp mechanics, otherwise you're just not gonna make it. Yeah, can't kill her. With this amount of mana, I don't have enough mana for combo. It's 400 and, uh, 145, right? And then 195 for the whole schmetzel. So I just can't do it. I just have to let, wait, mm, yeah, 145. There's, there's the big boy. 
Oh, yes, oh, level 6, level a little, little tornado, oh, it hits. Ah, oh, nothing happens. Who would have thunk? We can just fight this, actually, but... That's what I'm thinking. Oh wait, I have no mana, I'm dead. I'm getting deep rocked all the time. Executed! No gold for you, buddies! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Mm-mm-mm! LOL XD! Hee <laughs> hee! Gotcha! <laughs> or should I say... Didn't get me... I don't know. I wanted to make it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just roll. Just roll with it. Roll the next clip, please. Oh, clutch, clutch, dude. Close, close fight. <laughs> this is too much fun, dude. This is why you play LSR in blind pick. It's too much fun. Like, yeah, I'm not, not, not Chris pro mechanics, but it, you don't need them. You don't need them in this elo. I'm not playing against high diamonds here. Can we actually kill this guy? Like, holy shit. Uh. Wait, there's nobody here. Haha. <laughs> oh no, you rooted me! What? My bad, I didn't have any mana. Pro player. I'm trying to read that as much as possible. Sometimes I just forget. Wait, what's the Kaisa saying? No problem. I didn't... What? Was the Kaisa there? What? Oh, yes, what mechanics? Basic potato versus just Kevin. I love this shit. Oh man, it feels like everyone is losing, even though the Ivern is 4-3-4, and four. like they got some kills in the top lane, and we actually died a fair share too. I guess we kind of, we're kind of sloppy, sloppy is the right word to, to describe, not bad, but sloppy, dude. The difference between bad and sloppy is that sloppy means you're playing against lower MMR players, so it doesn't really show that you're really just terrible at the video game. <laughs> just, just... Just, just one way to describe it. My goodness. Yeah. The game is, is, is not even like... In terms of takedowns, this wouldn't be the end of the world, right? But it's the fact that... Usually when you have this kind of takedowns... It's the fact that you have turrets and shit. And a drake in this case. Right? That really sealed the deal. Kind of 
let me do this. Holy. not receiving any help here there's two people mid they're just playing their own game they're playing their own like it's just like yeah we're we're fighting in our own jungle all right all right let's not ruin the positive vibes of the game i guess i'm just gonna say nothing like just like Pretend like we're not being fucked over by our teammates here. Because I'm not sure what the ranges were, but I thought they were in range to help. I think they farmed mid lane. I think they just farmed a wave of mid lane while we're fighting over here. I guess I should be playing closer, paying closer attention to the minimap. I mean, I'm having fun, but it shouldn't be an excuse not to play the video game. Right? Just to just be like complete monkey. It's a little bit much. We could just pressure the turrets and get the tier 2s, but what's the fun in that, right? Orion does not yet have an ultimate ability. As soon as he does, then this is going to be fun. Kind of around the minions. We're going to have a 3 men over here. A the double ultimate. The SmackDown, the Alistar SmackDown. All right, good enough. Yeah, we got that with a tornado. Ah, goddamn. Anyway, <laughs> we we we're keeping up. At least we're keeping our kill count neutral. I guess. Like, after dying so many times unnecessarily, we gotta do something to make it right. And that is to get a kill. I, uh, this game... This game should be over by now. Uh, where, like, us chasing these people instead of going for the objective is just like, yeah, that's just the kind of troll you see in uh, Blind Pick. And the fact that it's not the highest MMR either. So, that's just a combination of two things there. Th these are gonna kind of around here. Oh, I mean, they dropped aggro for probably already a little bit earlier. But if you just, yeah, it depends on where they spawn, despawn, I guess. Um, uh, you, because they can definitely go towards this camp if you do it right. I've seen that before, so. Anyway, uh, what we're getting is um, redemption, I guess. Like, redemption, redemption versus righteous glory. I think with this kind of go ham team comp, Righteous Glory is better, and I just build a forbidden idol, so I now have to pretty much just go for the redemption, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's maybe not the best decision, really. Yeah, this is not how we're supposed to play it, of course. But I mean, I'm not really, I'm not really telling my teammates where to go. I'm not watching their rotations and telling them what to do, right? What way is he not coming? Just. Get here. Get your ass over here. Why did she just ruin the turn essentially, right? I'm not even gonna I'm gonna not even gonna lock it on that. But yeah, the fact that she didn't just walk in. Why not? What are you waiting for? I I don't understand. So that's one way like imagine if this was a close game and just giving it you're just handing a team a tier two turret for no reason. That would just ruin the game, right? Luckily, that's just not happening. Like, it's not close, right? But, I mean, come on. Why? 
even if you're if you're, even if you're having fun, I still don't understand that kind of decision making. Uh, we can just walk in on this. There's no problem. We should just rotate mid. Like these very short rotations, I don't understand. Like we should just like the Orianna should just walked in from here, right, and just gank that. Clean, just quick button presses, no unnecessary presses, just clean, right? Just wait for the animation and a spam Q. That is how you do it. Uh, she can do that on her own. She clears the Drake really, really fast and doesn't take a lot of damage from it, so I don't need to help out there. What? Whoops, what am I doing? Alright, so now is the time where we can reset, or we can go for play. Either one works. Do we know that this is not warded? Do they have any incentive to actually move here? Awkward. I don't have a redemption yet. What? Wow, that was a late, late one. <laughs> that was really late. Like, uh, her ultimate came so late. Um, this guy needs some help. Holy. Hey, we got them all, baby. Aced. That is how you do it. Fight broke out in bot lane, and the Riven just survived long enough to get the shield from the locket. That is a value shield right there, because that helped her live. And we just obliterated them all. I mean, obviously, we're so much stronger. If we fight in even numbers, it's not even close to being close. I didn't know if I had enough mana. 160. I just got that when I read the bar. Probably not a bad idea to read it. Don't overextend where your teammates are in place. Like, Orianna is out of mana. This is when you look at the resources you have left and assess if you can fight the even numbers battle. Alright. So, I don't see... I didn't uh, catch where Orianna ulted, but it wasn't good. Oh, wow. I just have to make sure that I don't get hit, because then I deproc my boots. So I shielded her, and then I just got the hell out of her. Again, like, not clean mechanics, just good enough to, like, play at a certain level, right? Like, when you want to exceed that kind of level, you have to assess whether or not it, the shield will actually save someone. Here it's just, like, if you just use the shield whenever someone's about to get low, it's usually enough. Well, if you really want to exceed a certain level of gameplay, you have to actually look like, is this is this worth it? And just look in replays first, and then start trying to do it in real time, right? That's kind of how you approach those things always. Um, Knight's Foul wouldn't be bad. But neither will uh, the, what's it called, the thing that makes you run really fast, right? Right, just glory. That wouldn't be too bad either. So this game's being stalled because we're idiots. I didn't see how Orianna did use that ultimate. It must have hit the floor or something, because otherwise there's no way we would lose that. Um, yeah, not not not. don't have the greatest oversight. I had a little bit of oversight. I noticed the mana bars at the start and the health bars, right? I just didn't notice exactly what abilities were being used in that fight. So improving, but not quite there yet. All right. Boom! Kill him! Ooh, kill him! 
That is, that is just like, that is classic Alistar yes will combo. You just, ooh, kill him. Fuck, I didn't stun him? What? How did that happen? Alright, well, they're dead anyway. Alright, uh, I didn't notice that there was a yes will incoming. Doing, right? Anyway. Anyway, they're all dead. Um, I'm pretty sure we could just push into their base, but... If they want to get this turret instead, then I'm alright with that as well. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's just one of these little things again. Like, look at how hard this is shoving already. Give them something to chew on. Here, have my words, friends. Oh, I got stunned by the Fiora parry, but... Oh, Kesa ulting in. Fiora ult. Fiora's way in the back, though. Enemy slain. And we got him. Alright, I'm trying to maintain oversight. It's something I've been working on sometimes. So I just do a, like, a little practice drill where I try to spot as many abilities that are being used as I can. I, I encourage you to do the same exercise. It's really just like, it helps you out noticing those little patterns. When you notice an Oriole is being missed, that can really change your perspective on a team fight and where you position yourself. Like, oh, let's back off and kite backwards now. And that is that only happens when you actually recognize that the ability is missed, right? So you have to have that little bit of oversight, and that's, that's why I created this drill for myself, or just trying to announce everything that happens, right? Um, yeah. yeah. That's it, that's it for this one. Let's see, we're gonna honor someone. Who are we honoring, guys? Who are we honoring? Uh, 3, 2, 1, votes are in, it's gonna be Orianna. Orianna Jungle, if you make that shit work, you, you deserve an honor, right? So... Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a really fun game. If you liked it, consider leaving a like. If you want to see content similar to this in the future, consider subscribing because I'll definitely be making a more... What? What am I even saying? Because I will definitely be making more of this content in the future. That's what I want to say. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.